Okay, so this is the MA55 Bosch Auto Feed. Um, it's very lightweight construction. It's completely open frame. There's lots of gaps in here that's deliberate because obviously this is quite a dusty application, particularly if you're um, dry lining a, a ceiling or putting ceiling um, plasterboard up. And so the idea is that if any dust gets into the mechanism, it simply falls out again. You don't need to take an airline to it, it doesn't jam up. Okay, to fit the auto feed, the MA55, we just simply remove the nose cone and the adapter from the tool that we intend to use. Over here we've got the 645 ready to go. We need to fit the extra long drill screwdriver bit, sorry, that uh, comes with the MA55 because obviously there's a greater distance between the uh, machine and the screw. And then we simply fit the MA55 onto the front of the machine like that. Okay, no tools required. And the MA55 is also compatible with the early model drywall screwdrivers from Bosch. On the MA55 we've got a couple of adjustments. Uh, this one at the front here is adjustable to the screw length. We can drive screws up to 55 millimeters long, as the model code suggests, and we can simply adjust here. There's a little scale, a little button. We can adjust this up and down to the, the length of screw we require. Okay, again, no tools, just push the button. There's a little cursor there, which shows in inches and in millimeters the length of the screw. We're using 35 millimeter screws today, so we'll just move the cursor down to 35 millimeters, and, and we're ready to go. This unit's compatible with any screws of the auto feed type, so uh, it's not manufacturer sensitive. We simply feed the, uh, the strip uh, through into the machine underneath, like this. There we go. And then through the front. As you get nearer the front, you start hearing the, the unit making little clicks. You keep the screw just, just off center so that the, the first time you apply the tool, this screw, this first screw here, will be brought into line, ready to be driven. As you can see, these are just about set right. The head should be just below the surface so you can put a skim of plaster over there. If you need to adjust the depth, we've got a little wheel on the side here. Uh, if you turn the wheel down, okay, then the screw gets deeper as you turn the wheel up, then the screw gets shallower. So it's very easy to get these depths set correctly. Zero. 